you have the residents in the camps who really don't have a great life at all. And the situation in the camps is worrying because there's a lot of arms in the camps. There's no law enforcement at all in the camps. And um, the people there are poor. They have very few opportunities. They don't vote in elections that have any significance for any of the political leadership, um, either in Palestine or in Lebanon. They are dependent to a large extent on public services, social services, welfare services, all of which are getting much more fragmented than they were. In 1948, people just left their homes in Palestine and came to Lebanon. And they did actually at that time live in tented camps. And then over a period of time, sort of from uh, 47, 48 to 51, 52, various camps were constructed under a UN umbrella. And these camps at first were uh, fairly well organized and laid out although they were always considered to be temporary. What happened after that was that the population expanded, but the area of the camps did not. So there was a, an expanding population, no governance structure at all. And people, like all over the world, invested what they had in the space in which they lived. So as families expanded, what happened was that people put in, it was jerry building basically, but they started building uh, buildings that went up, they put concrete in, they put reinforced concrete in. Um, very little con consideration was given to ventilation or to water or to sanitation. It was just space and occupying space. It became very important for families to, to try and control their part of, of the camp. So you would have three or four families sort of putting their blocks together. It was a bit like the enclosure movement, if you like. And um, as a result of which, you have no infrastructure in the camps. Um, electricity is really poor. Um, there are wires all over the place. There's no one actually making sure that these things are safe. Um, water is erratic. Um, electricity is now provided by private generators to a large extent, so there, there isn't that. People, when they're living in these enclosed environments, are dependent on electricity, on fridges, on uh, things like this, so food doesn't keep, you get this, this kind of problem. Um, and then, of course, the, the sewage system, which was put in initially, wasn't desi designed for a population that's five, six times bigger than it was when it first came in.